So here we go, up at Marfield, cold, blustery end of May. Uh, we're going to start thinking about doing some shunter courses for those guys that have passed their C driving tests, C plus C driving tests, but not really feel that they're that uh, confident reversing. So we're starting to introduce a course um, to do some reversing up here, like it would be in the real world. So we're simulating the uh, reverse test, uh, but obviously a bit more detailed like it would be in the real world. We've got two cones with poles in them, either side of the garage, which is the target. And we're going to pull you out of this bay at an angle. And I'll put some cones out just to show you how we want the trailer gently banana and bending into the bay. The more you start doing this naturally on your own, then we start to move the cones a bit wider and narrower. So you start to look tight to turn. You'll see Phil there looking over his shoulder, looking left, looking right, simulating the real life reverse, getting close to this cone and pole on his side. If he's close to this cone and pole this side, which we call a target, he's going to be further away from this target and pole this side. As he enters the bay, look, he's getting himself reasonably straight. He'll be happy with this one he's doing it first time. The previous one he did, he took two shunts. I'll put that video on. It's not a problem. He was upset by it, but it's real world. I don't know what us guys, you know, we always have to do it first time every time, which he's done. He'll be happy with this one, but it doesn't have to be done first time. So I'll put the other video on as well of taking two shunts. But you see the idea. We come up here, we have a play. We also, uh, like I say, move those cones wider so it becomes a lot natural and tighter. We'll get you to come around from that direction, but also we'll do a blind reverse. So we'll go out of the bay and we'll come to the left and he's gonna back it in. So here we go, he's been reversing the trailer from his right. Now we'll also give you one of these to do. We'll give a blind reverse. Do a quick simulation of what we'll do we do a little bit more than this but we'll get the cones out we'll get you through your paces and we do a blind reverse just to give you an idea of how difficult this is it doesn't have to be done in one go it has to be done safely so he's going to try and get his close to the target this side but he needs to be straight because he needs to know what's happening this side so lots of elements on this shunt of course left and right simulating into a bay a bit more real life reversing than what you do on your test we know we teach you to reverse it's like reversing by numbers we need to get you through that uh, part of the test but we also like to think that we can add this onto a course and give you guys a little bit more confidence reversing into a bay situation so also we're going to go through the uncouple recouple with you and what you'll find is we'll uh, get you to take number plates off. We store it just behind Phil there in the door. I always get it stored in there so you know where it is. Phil's now done his black routine. He's break his legs there in his clip, pulled the kingpin, and now he's dropping all the air from the tractor unit, making sure the tray legs are on the floor. Then what he'll do, he'll draw forward slowly. There'll be less noise, less damage to the legs. As he pulls forward, just let that go nice and gentle there you go once he's left the trailer he'll pop the air back up again lock through the transition that little idea inside the vehicle reasonably straight left and right and just the amount of steering that's needed when you've got the technique sorted you're hardly turning the wheel a little bit of left or a little bit of right. I normally teach quarter of a turn, but the more you do it, you'll probably find the less you actually need to steer, as you can see Phil here. He's keeping it, if I get the mirror as well, you can see I keep a nice straight line. He's just correcting it as he needs to. Great skill to learn this, and it'll really help you in your driving career going onto a bay. <laughs> 